this video, I'm going to show you one of the best passing plays in Madden 23. We're going to be talking today about the gun Y off trips pats formation. You can find this in the uh, New England offensive playbook. If you're watching this video and you want to get my full New England Patriots offensive ebook where we cover the U trips as well as some of the other formations in New England, make sure that you join my Patreon. That's where you'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. The link to sign up for that is down in the description. So what we're going to be taking a look at today is really truly one of my favorite plays uh, in the game. It is Y option wheel. I think that this play has a ton of versatility and uh, we're going to show you how to use it to attack man and zone coverage in this video. So what we're going to do with this is first we're going to show you how this is a very effective uh, passing play against the current meta. You do not need any hot route abilities. You don't need outside apprentice. You don't need spot apprentice. You don't need hot route master. You don't need any of that to run this play at a high level. All we're going to do is we're going to put the tight end on an out. We're going to put the slot receiver on a flat, and we're going to motion that slot receiver across the formation. We're going to snap the ball right about here. And what you're going to notice is we're going to be able to hit this tight end quick out. It's one of the best routes in the formation against man coverage. Now, not only are we going to be able to do that, but you might have noticed um, as we were running that play that Debo Samuel, if you have the short out elite ability, it's not a requirement by any means, but if you do have that short out elite ability on this outside receiver, you're going to notice that he's going to light up and he is going to get separation over the top um, uh, in a one-on-one -on -one press situation. So if they're going to press you, um, it's almost impossible to play press coverage against this specific play because you're going to notice that Debo Samuel, if they don't have any safety help over the top, he is going to basically just destroy uh, that coverage. Here, I'm not going to freeform it. Um, and of course, I'm going to drop it. So you really should freeform it or freeform and highball it. Um, and that's going to make it a little bit more consistent for you. Uh, I would say uh, just be careful in your freeform. You don't want to overdo it by any means. Um, but if he does have that separation, just loft it out there. And maybe he'll catch it. I don't know. Um, but we'll show you some other uh, some other plays as well. As you can tell, freeform is definitely not my favorite thing at all in this game. Um, but if they're in zone coverage, one of my favorite things to do, I like to freeform like down and inside to the running back because what's going to happen is this is the main reason we're putting this receiver on a flat is because what's going to happen is those flats are going to get sucked out to the flat and we're going to be able to freeform down and inside that little wheel route very effective against pretty much any zone in the game and it's going to really get them out of zone if they're wanting to run a lot of zone this is a great play um this is a great play to get them out of it now i'm feeling bold so i'm going to throw that um, i'm going to throw that route to um debo again hopefully we'll be able to catch it and there you see we finally do able to catch that route over the top against man so again, this is going to force kind of some shaded, you know, over top type stuff. Um, and as they start to do stuff like that, then what you're going to notice is your tight end is going to be open, but also this route to Steve Smith, um, a little crossing route, little post route coming across the middle is really effective as well. So this play combines some of the best pieces of like a Y cross concept combined with like a you know just standard little wheel flat combo so i love this i love this play a lot for attacking pretty much anything the defense is going to be doing the other thing i want to quickly point out is you can um if they are going to run some man on you uh you certainly can attack the man coverage with the running back what you want to do is you're going to free form and you're going to want to basically free form and high ball up and outside. And as you can see, it's going to give me that little over the shoulder kind of basket catching animation. So I'm going to show you that again. This is pretty much any man coverage in the game right now. Um, this is pretty effective. You're going to hold left trigger. You're going to hold L1. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to just basically free form and high ball over the top of the defender. It's going to get that animation right there probably about 95 to 100% of the time, you're going to be able to have that consistency. So if they're going to play man on you, um, you're going to have a lot of opportunity. Now, I do want to show you just for the purpose of the video, what happens whenever they shade their coverage outside. So if they do shade their coverage outside, you see here, you're still going to get that step, um, but you've got to free form it a little bit differently. So when you see that that running back has a step on the defender, you're trying to basically just basically throw like a, a house call. You're trying to throw the ball as far over the top. You want it to be in a place where only your receiver 
uh, can catch it. And if you can master this throw, this becomes one of the best plays in the game because they basically can't play main coverage. You see that right there is a great animation and a great example. Most people aren't going to have deep route KO on the field um, in that specific position, so it's going to have a lot of value. So let's say they go over to the left side to user the wheel route against zone. You're going to have this uh, post route. Basically, this post route is going to break down pretty much every zone in the game. Really hard to defend uh, this post route in zone. So this is one of the, I think, most effective plays um, in the game because of a couple things. Uh, but one of the most notable is the fact that we can throw this high ball wheel um, pretty consistently. And, and again, it's very rarely going to be intercepted. Most of the time, it's going to be caught. And if anything, worst case scenario is probably going to be deflected like you just saw. And then you can freeform down and inside this wheel against zone coverage. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, head down to the description below and join the Patreon. There's a link down in the description. Ten bucks will get you access to everything over there. All the ebooks, all the updates. So head down to the description and uh, go join the Patreon.